And it's Jim Curia. Nick, you've, uh, you've often said this is your favorite court in the whole world to play in. What did it feel like tonight for you to walk back out here in 2021? Uh, it was special. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming out. Obviously, very um, strange year last year. Uh, we all overcame it together, I think, to make this possible. And um, I'm just super appreciative of you guys coming out here. It was amazing. Um, it, felt, it felt normal, to be honest. You guys were going nuts, and it was, it was good to see. So hopefully we can continue it. You played Federico for the first time as a professional, but you guys are the same age. You played in juniors a few times. Looked like it took you a little bit to get used to him, but then you really hit your stride. How do you rate your performance tonight? Um, honestly, it was pretty average. Uh, I haven't played a match, like uh, a Grand Slam match in over a year. So, um, you know, I was definitely nervous. I was very nervous walking out here. I knew that I wasn't going to be able to produce anywhere near my best tennis. Uh, but he's, he's a tricky player. He's obviously feeling confident he qualified. So, um, you know, I played juniors with him, and, and he looks like he's, uh, he's blooming into a, a good player. So he's going to do some pretty good things. But I'm just happy I got through, ultimately. 2020, such a difficult year for everyone around the world. Um, very, very challenging. There are some silver linings in, in what we experienced last year. You were able to stay home a lot more than you typically could. What was that like for you? How did you spend your time at home? <laughs> yeah, uh, I had nothing to complain about. I think Canberra actually had it the best. It was the best place in the world. You know, we, we were... Um, Um, yeah, I, I was very fortunate that um, COVID didn't affect me or my family. Um, but yeah, Canberra didn't have a case for, for over six months, so we were very lucky there. And I, I was able to just spend some time with my family. And uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was really fun. I, I use it as a massive reset, and I'm just glad to be back out here. We're glad to see you. We're glad you're back at work. Before this tournament, you had some work on a tennis court, but not really playing. You shot a commercial with one of my favorites, Sasha Baron Cohen. I know you're a fan as well. And he plays an unruly chair umpire. What was that experience like working with Sasha on the tennis court? Uh, yeah, he was, uh, he was hilarious. Um, you know, I couldn't, I, I just thought he was bored out the whole time, literally. <laughs> um, but it, it, was, it was definitely one of my favorite experiences. And I actually, I saw it today for the first time, the, the little uh, snippet on Instagram. So it was fun. You guys should check it out. There it is. Were you able to keep a straight face when you were shooting this or just bust out with all kinds of uh, outtakes? <laughs> He was, he was nuts, like, he was, it, was, it was for four hours straight, he was just saying some outrageous things, it was pretty funny, but it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. Well, we're, we're glad to see you back, and obviously it's great to have Sasha, and Sasha involved with tennis. Back to the tennis, your next round against a player you have played before, Ugo Umber, he won today. You said it, you weren't expecting your best tennis, are you ready to deliver that in the next round? Um, we'll see, uh, hopefully. Uh, he's an amazing player. He's made, I think he's one of the most improved players from last year. He won a couple titles, I think. So it's going to be very tricky, uh, but I'm not thinking about that. I just want to get home and just relax and enjoy that. Well, go do that. Well done. We'll look forward to seeing you most likely right back here on John Camerino. Nick Kyrgios, everyone. Well, Nick quite often says the wrong thing on court during the match. But after the match, he always says the right thing on court.